Today we're going to learn about simple interest word problem. Let's say we have a problem like this. Dan bor borrowed $10,000 from the bank at a simple interest rate of 8% annually. How much will Dan owe to the bank after 5 years? So, let's first write the formula to find out how much Dan will owe the bank after 5 years or after some amount of years. So because we know that this is simple interest, the formula is the new balance, NB for new balance, is equal to P plus IT, where NB is the new balance. P is the principal amount or start. I is the interest. which consists of the formula I is equal to P, R, and T, which is I is the interest, P is the principal, and R is the rate. And here we also have T, which is time. So, now let's find out how much will Dan owe to the bank after five years. So, we know that the formula is NB, the new balance, is equal to P, which is the principal or the start, and we know that he borrowed $10,000, plus the interest times the time. So we know that the formula for interest is I is equal to PR. So I is equal to PR, which is equal to the principal, 10,000, times the rate, which is 8% or 0 0.08. This is equal to $800. So we know that because this is simple interest, every year they add on $800. So plus $800 times T, which is equal to, we know that we need to find out how much will Dan owe to the bank after five years. And we know that T is equal to time. So it's equal to 10,000, let's write this underneath, so actually let's write it here. So the new balance is equal to 10,000 plus 800 times T, which is 5 years. So we get 10,000 plus 800 times 5 is 4,000, which is equal to $14,000. So this means that Dan's balance after 5 years is $14,000. So the answer to this problem is $14,000. Today we learned about simple interest word problem. Thank you for watching this video.